Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how to create different animations from a sprite sheet. It will be idle animation, walk animation and kick animation. You will find the links to the initial sprite sheet and to the current Unity project in the description. So here we have a sprite sheet imported that we need to edit a bit. Switch sprite mode to multiple and set filter mode as point no filter because it's kind of pixel art image and we don't need any filtering here. And hit apply. Then go to sprite editor. Here is our sprite sheet that we need to slice to separate images. Hit slice button, automatic type will be fine here and press slice button. Now each image is a separate one. First row is about idle animation. Let's rename each sprite to make this bunch of images to be organized better. First sprite will be idle 1, second will be idle 2 and so on. Next row is about walking animation. First sprite will be walk 1, second will be walk 2 and so on. Last row of images is about kick animation. Let's rename these sprites as well. Kick 1, kick 2 and so on. Here we go. Hit apply to save all of the changes we've made. So here are all of our sprites. Let's take one and put it to our scene. As you can see the size of our cat is pretty tiny. One of the way to make it bigger is to change pixel per unit amount of sprite sheet asset. The lower this value is, the bigger image is. Let it be 10. Hit apply to save the change. There we go. Rename this game object as a cat. Now let's create our animations. Make sure cat is selected, go to animation window and hit create new animation button. I created animation folder already, so I create new animation here named idle. Now select all of the idle sprites and drag and drop them into the timeline of the idle animation. Reduce number of samples here to slow animation down. 6 will be ok. Here we have idle animation now. Create new clip and name it as walk. It will be walk animation. Select walk sprites and drag and drop them into timeline. Reduce number of samples. 10 is ok for walk animation. Here we go. Create another one clip. Name it kick. This will be kick animation. Select kick sprites and drag and drop them into the timeline. 15 is good for number of samples here. Very nice. Select kick animation in project folder and uncheck loop time option because we don't need it to be looped. Now select cat and go to animator window. Here are our animations. Let's position them a bit more clearly. Like that. Now let's add a couple of parameters to control transitions between our animations. First one will be boolean is walking parameter. And the second one will be trigger named hit. Letter casing is important. Now let's create and tune transitions between these animations. Right click on any state and make transition to walk animation. Select it by left click. Has exit time should be unchecked. And can transition to self should be unchecked as well, so animation will not freeze at the first frame. And transition duration should be set to zero, so transition takes place immediately. Last tweak is to add new condition, so transition occurs when is walking is true. This parameter as well as hit one will be modified through the script. Next, make a transition from walk to idle. Select transition, uncheck has exit time, set transition duration to zero and condition here will be when is walking is false. Next transition will be from kick to idle. Select it. Here will be exit time option checked and time will be set to one. So after one second, this animation will be automatically translated to idle animation with zero transition duration. Last transition is from any state to kick animation. Here has exit time is unchecked and transition duration is zero. Condition will be set if hit parameter is triggered. That's it. All of these transitions are controlled by cat control script. Let's take a look at it. It's quite simple one. Direction X and move speed variables help cat to move. And animator component is used to control those transitions. In start method we get that animator component and set move speed to 5. Then in update method we give direction x variable a value according to which arrow button is pressed multiplied by move speed and time delta time. Then we move a cat in x axis using direction x variable. Then transitions logic goes. So if direction x is not equal to 0, which means that cat is moving and kick animation is not running at the moment, then is walking parameter is set to true and walk animation starts running. Otherwise is walking is false and idle animation starts running. Then if I1 button is pressed and if kick animation is not already running, then is walking parameter is set to false to stop walking animation if it runs and hit parameter is triggered to start kick animation. That's it. Drag and drop this script to cat. Now we can hit play and see how it works. 
Cat can walk, kick and idle. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.